Super Motocross, round one. We are here in North Carolina. Get some press riding this morning. More or less, it is Friday. We're getting ready to go up for free practice. So we get two free practice sessions, 10 minutes a piece today. Kind of try to get the, the track dialed in. I think they want to give the teams a little bit extra time to see how this track rides, it being Supercross slash Motocross instead of one or the other. So we're getting all geared up and we're going up for our first legitimate practice. Not too shabby on the first session. Uh, kind of figured out the rhythms pretty quickly. I'm, I'm hoping that a larger line develops. Right now they have the second tabletop, so we're going three on, off, three, and then that next tabletop is like almost vertical. And I'm assuming that's what they wanted you to do, so then you can't go four, four out. But man, it's just super simple, and the rest of the track kind of winds in and out, so it's kind of got like curves in it, right? Well, obviously, if you're like a pro rider, you're gonna take the shortest path of resistance, more or less, which is just inside, sweeping inside, sweeping inside, instead of like turning like this, it kind of becomes a more of a straightaway. So start is gonna be absolutely crucial here and then just hitting your marks because it's gonna be really tough to pass. All right, we're going up for our free practice number two. What did you think of that one? Clean it up. That one was better. I felt better. I went, what, two and a half seconds faster than the first one? Because Cartwright told me I went, ran a 120 in the first one. So I felt better. Um, a little bit left in the sand section. I always came off a little bit squirrely. That first lap, I scrubbed it, but I scrubbed it in a line that a kicker had formed. I thought I was going to be done. I'm so happy it soaked it up. But no, overall, not bad. Uh, it's just going to be a dog fight. The times are really close. There's not really too many different lines that you know us LCQ guys are gonna be taking. Pretty much all gonna be doing the same thing. So good start. Click off the laps, and if you don't get a start, you're gonna honestly you're gonna have to shove yourself forward because it's pretty one lined out there. If 
you would like to attend either of the Super Motocross races we still have coming up, be sure to grab your tickets at supermotocross.com. Uh, it is pretty cool to be here, obviously for the inaugural uh, SMX race. Um, it's gonna be interesting the way it shakes down. Obviously, the big thing is getting through the LCQ that we would get into the races and hopefully go after that, that paycheck and some more points, good results, more testing and tuning for Supercross 24. So, just get through it safe is the biggest thing, but you know, it's gonna come down to a dog fight in that LCQ. So, overall, just pretty excited. Are you worried about the weather? Uh, yeah, so we've got, in the forecast, apparently 80% chance of rain. That track, if it rains, it's, it's gonna be miserable probably because it's not tilled and ripped and watered like a pro outdoor or anything like that. So it's not really gonna be able to take it. If it rains a lot, it's already a very hard base out there. So it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be a slime. This weekend's helmet wrap is Obachan's, a local snack and seed shop out of Maui, Hawaii. Honestly, some of the best candy I've ever had. They've been a big part of my program for the last several years, and now I just want to return the support during this time. On behalf of my team and sponsor, Obachans, we would like to send our love and support to the people of Maui who have been affected by the wildfires on August 8th. We know the Obachans Ohana and countless other locals have been boots on the ground doing all they can to support the recovery efforts. Please show your support and reach out to them via Instagram at Obachans or check out the link in their bio for an Amazon wish list where you can send items most needed directly to Maui. Mahalo to Obachans and a special shout out to all the people of Maui from the Kevin Moran's racing team. We are with you. Hashtag Maui strong. Alright, so I'm going to tell you want to sign the bike. Is that what he wants to do? There. Yeah, you guys come over. You're gonna sign right there. If I need to go get you a smaller one, we can wipe it off and redo it. But try to write it right there, okay? okay. On that line. Should I write my real name? Yeah, whatever you want. Gavin G? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Hey. hey Wave to the vlog right there. Right. Join the Moran's Mafia. <laughs> Join the Moran's Mafia. Join hey. the Moran's Mafia. Moran's Mafia. Left. Oh, they scooted that in, or they scooted it that way. They had the hay bales out, the very like the very far one, and then the guy walked back and scooted it back in. Oh, so they made that even more yeah. more, so you can't cut over too hard. Yeah, you're gonna cut right there and then yeet yourself that way. I'm probably that you double. Say that again. If somebody hits that hay bale. The next time you come in, double it. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, I will probably be taking the tabletop every lap. I don't think it's gonna rain until night show. Yeah, but I think it's seventy-five percent at one o'clock. Yeah, exactly. What's up, McDonald? How are you? Howdy. What's going on? What did you did you quad this? I saw Austin and somebody else do it, but I'm like, mm, I don't know about that one. I wanted to try to go 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. And maybe if you got that, but that pocket's so hard to get. That yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Like, that's what I even told Jordan. I was like, dude, like, I'm doing the three on, off, three. Like, I'm doing the simple line, because, like, say you're out front in the LCQ or whatever, and you try to four over that, you clip it. Like, nobody else is going to be quadding in that LCQ. Uh, Nicoletti, maybe, but that's it. That's that's a little steeper than what it was. Yeah, I was going into that one, and then you get to, like, blah, blah, off. Oh. Sometimes I feel like shorter track wins. This right here? Especially because you can kind of come out, square up, and go straight into this instead of having to bend this to bend that. If you shift and get that, you can... And then you can just launch that thing. You guess what Shelly was doing? That I did? Psych. He's just doing the head. He's just doing the head. Walking out and going, we're getting ready to head up. It is Saturday, race day. Uh, weather is potentially coming in, so we'll see how that situation looks, but we're getting ready to go up for our first qualifying session.
not too bad. Track's super muddy. They watered it way too much, especially with the potential weather coming in. Uh, so it's very muddy, pretty much one line, slippery as not. So uh, hopefully the second one will just get better. They started chunking, but yeah. And it was like similar to this. But like it's like all the like the if it was tilled, it'd be amazing. But where it's hard, it just kind of has a. I don't like it that way because it's, it's packs and it just doesn't matter after a while. It's yeah. Too hard. So, yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right, time to step it up. We're going up for Koi 2, last qualifying session. Consistent. I think it's got a little bit faster as well. So we ended up P2 in that one. Uh, so we got the second gate pick going up for the LCQ that we've got coming up pretty quick. So we're going to get rested up, get some Rhino Power hydration fuel in us, and get ready for the LCQ. Guard. So as soon as I came off, I did not get a Kevin Moran start. I wheelied a little bit um, and just kind of sacrificed, obviously being in front to pinch people off. So I got pinched off. Was hugging tight to hand, I believe it was. I think his peg or something grabbed it, ripped it. I saw that right off the rip. I'm like, oh, hopefully it doesn't like, it just gets taken off. I just saw it kind of get loose. So I'm happy it fell off. But uh, yeah, then handed it up. I was just right on hand, just waiting to kind of capitalize on any kind of mistake or find a way around him. He ended up stalling it, and then I just capitalized and wrote it in. So we uh, accomplished what we came here to do, getting the main events, and now let's go get as many points as we can. Uh -huh. And I want to give you a donation to your band. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, be awesome. And so I'm going to give you a donation from my son Luke too. Okay, beautiful. Um, it can't be. Oh yeah, there you go. Check out the back fender, the YZ450. Hey, there you go. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. The non s one. Yeah. So you're gonna go on that line right there. Yeah. You just wiped it off, so right here? Yeah. Don't mind the guy who was right in front of you and stuff. That was the only other guy who was right there. Hey, thank Old you. Though. I appreciate it. Heck yeah, dude. Alright, we're going up for uh, opening ceremony, so I don't know how it's gonna work, but I've been told I'm in opening ceremonies, or more or less they're gonna introduce the top riders. And then we get to ride around after them, I don't know, we'll see.
bug to come right out here. Yeah. So this is, it's like, it's so fast. It's fast and then like, they try to make it do this, but all of us are just inside, inside. Like, Super Motocross fans, please rise for the presentation of our nation's colors. Game time. We're getting ready to go up for Moto 1. 20 minutes plus one lap. Two Moto format, Olympic scoring. So 1-1, one, 2-2, one, two, two, there's not a, a points gap. So whatever you get, this is the position you have. on the outside, but obviously just having that part of the gate back didn't work, and then went off track the first lap, and uh, yeah, just didn't ride good. Forks were kind of beating me up. I was kind of just like pogo sticking around. It wasn't really soaking it up, so I was fighting it a lot. I think it just track got a little bit harder, and it's actually like rough now too, so it's where that super cross suspension makes it tough, but we're going to make some adjustments to get ready for round two. What'd you figure out? Okay. We did? Yeah, same Alrighty, we're getting ready to go up for Moto2, looking for better things. Uh, we made some bike changes, slowing it down a little bit, going a little bit softer. Probably it was just beating me up, so I think it was a little too stiff. Try to get a little bit rougher, and it's uh, getting tougher. So let's go see what we can make happen. The way off, the only two bikes I'm looking for.
much better, road way better. Still not the finish I want, but progress. So we're here, we're new, it's our debut on the Honda in America, so Jordan over here is helping me dial it in. Big shout out to old Sits over here. But, uh, no, I don't know. We'll get cleaned up and kind of recap a little bit, but overall just much better riding for me. I stayed on Chiz the whole time. Um, I should have had him, so that's on me, and we'll keep getting better. All right, guys, that is a wrap for SMX Round 1. I appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, like, comment, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell. We're going to have more of these coming, obviously, through uh, SMX and then into World Supercross as well, depending on whatever that happens. Pretty solid on the day. Obviously, got in, LCQ. Uh, Moto 1 was a struggle for us made bike changes and did much better in Moto2. So progress is what we're after. Results aren't for exactly what we wanted, but hey, we got an SMX point and we're moving forward and hopefully we'll get better as that goes on. That being said, major shout out to Pirelli. We're gonna be pitting them with them at every round. So the other two SMX rounds, come find us at Pirelli. Major shout out to them, the Lazzotti family for letting me use their bike. We just flew out here because we're not gonna drive the 20 hours one way. Uh, with my bike and everything like that. So they jumped on board. We're gonna be using their bike for SMX. So that is awesome. And then major shout out to everybody who came by and signed the bike. Helps us, donations towards the program. We're looking at getting a new van here really soon. We're gonna be doing that at every round. So be sure to find us at the Pirelli Rig. Come sign Defender. And we appreciate you guys tuning in. We'll see you guys in round two in Illinois. Major shout out to this man right here. George says, where's the camera? <laughs> appreciate you guys watching. Brought to you by Throttleverse. This was SMX round one. So appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll see you guys for round two. Sorry I lost you $100. I know, yeah. You hit on me pretty hard. Did I? Did I? <laughs> I think we actually edited it to be nice. Because at first, we were talking so much. I'm like, you can't sorry. do that. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but we had to make it dramatic. Yeah, he's killing it. Yeah, thank you. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. And that's been another Kevin Morant's vlog. Be sure to subscribe for more. And stay tuned for the next video.